Welcome back to the channel, and uh, today we're going to be messing with the Outback again, and on the last video I did with this car, a guy named Trevor G reached out to me on the comment section talking about how people are, they are retarding the exhaust cam by one tooth on these EJ20X swapped cars. And so I went and did a little research myself, and it turns out that, you know, about a year and a half ago, people started figuring this out that actually runs better. So we're going to play a game today. I'm going to call it cracked or fact. So we are going to pull these covers off on both sides and then we are just going to take this exhaust cam and pull it back one tooth. I have read people are doing up to two teeth. We'll start with one and go from there and then we'll test it and see. I've started a map so this car does run better but it is still lacking something on the bottom end so hopefully wakes it up on the bottom end. That's where we'll find out. All right. So since the engine is spinning this direction down, we need to take this bottom cam gear and bring it up a tooth this way to retard it. I just wanted to start it to give you a visual representation of how it was supposed to be done. So we're going to start with the harder side first because I cannot get this all the way out unless I remove the radiator. We're not going to worry about that. So what we're going to do, we'll just get our paint pen. We'll put a line on the cam and the timing belt. And then I will shove a piece of vacuum tube in there and roll the engine over. And then we'll make sure that the two lines are off in the right direction and then correlate together and that it didn't go more than it should have. Alright, so that's not pretty, but you get the idea. You see the two marks that I put the paint pen on? So now I'm going to take and shove this guy in there, roll it over. I have to roll this one backwards because of this side, the way I can get to it. Okay, so that one is now retarded a tooth. You can see it doesn't line up anymore. All I did was just take this vacuum tube and... All right, after looking at it that first way I'd done it, it was not correct. It was actually advanced, so I went back and redid it. Now you can see it is retarded on there. So let's try this again. So I'm actually kind of concerned about the side because there, the lip on this is on this outside. So could possibly cause an issue, but you can see we've got our line on there. I'll get it set up and I'll let you guys watch this one. I'm hoping this one doesn't go more than a tooth, but if it does, We'll just have to fix it, so. Let's push it over. Hold. We're back. Okay. That's normal. That's okay. I hope. Okay, it's out, let's check it. Okay, that looks to be about a tooth. Luckily it worked out with that uh, hose that I used. So now I'll just stab these covers back on and we'll test it out, see? All right, so here's the moment of truth. We're gonna go up the hill. I'll let you guys look at this so you can see a little bit better on what's going on. Now we can see RPM and throttle percentage. All right, let's to the floor. There's a bad flare on it, you can't see anything, but it's mildly better. If that, we're gonna do a little acceleration test here. So let's attempt this hill now that the car is hot. All right, we're stopped. Foot to the floor. Full throttle, 100%. Alright, might be better. A little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Hmm, interesting. I think it is worth trying at least another tooth on it. Uh, and trying out and see what they say with two teeth if that really works as good as they're saying or but I definitely can hear the turbo more I'll have to go back and look at the log but I think it might be with that retarding one tooth maybe it's helping with spool 
and so you're getting more bottom end that way. But with the tune I have now, I can also go in and pull some timing out, and uh, that'll also help with spool time as well. Um, for what it's worth, I probably, you know what, I will. I will try another tooth, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Maybe that's the key. Maybe it's not. All right, so we are doing another tooth, and we're going to try that out. Some of you might be wondering why I'm marking it and why I'm doing that. Well, simply I just want to make sure that I'm verifying that what I'm doing is correct and it's doing only that, nothing more and nothing less. Because there's, there's a possibility it could go a couple teeth or there's a possibility it couldn't do anything at all. So you always just want to verify and validate that it is correct. So now both sides are retarded one more tooth, so it makes two teeth total overall. So I'm going to take and... I'm going to spin this over by hand before I start it just to make sure everything clears and then we will give it another shot. Alright, well let me put on my face of confidence while I start this. Interesting, alright. Give it a second. All right, so we're gonna try the hill again with two teeth. Right. Foots to the floor. acceleration test. Feels pretty good, actually. Okay, another up the hill. This one's with it hot this time. So I'm going to leave this like this for a little bit and drive it and see how it performs. Um, it almost seems like there's something in like the temperature settings for, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to comb through it and look and see, but when the car's cold, it, it just hates that hill, which is fine. Not everybody's going to deal with that, but when it's warm, it definitely performs a lot better. Um, it might be fact. I mean, it's not. A night and day difference like amazing but it definitely is better and and maybe that's marginal because of the tune that's in it i'll play with it a little bit and we'll go from there but i am mildly impressed actually so 